today on Sledhead 24-7. Meet a snowcross racer with speed, style, and a name like no other. Find out what makes Tucker Hibbert an Articat ride to the top. Mac and Fish head to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan to ride the latest R-Motion equipped sled from Skidoo. They'll explain how Skidoo made an already great riding sled even better. When you're out riding, what you wear is as important as where you ride. We'll review the latest clothing and the stomper boot from Motorfit. Those stories and we'll meet Miss Isaac. Sledhead 24-7 starts now. We brought a little bit of something for everyone. It'll be crazy, stupid fast. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Sledhead 24-7. I'm your host, Misha Johnson, along with our team of experts, Jeff Fisher and Paul Mack, and we are here at Danner Sales in Invergrove Heights. You know, Fish, if I'm gonna go out on a long day's ride and I'm not gonna ditch bang all day, Skidoo GSX, this thing is sweet. Oh, it is. This thing has so many neat features, that creature features, like we'd say, the adjustable handlebars, the air ride suspension. I like the heated seat, plenty of storage on back because I'm going to go out and run all day long, put on 200 miles. I want it to be quiet. I want to have the 600 e tech for good fuel economy, good mileage. This is it, the Skidoo GSXR, baby man. This is everything. If there's anything else you want, a lot of the bolt on accessories from Bombardier, come see the folks here at Danner Sales. They'll have everything you need on hand. Now, coming up first, we're gonna meet a man who is perhaps one of the best snowcross racers around. He's got speed, he's got style, he's got a winning record, and a number one winning race family to boot. Everyone, please meet Mr. Tucker Hibbert. Meet a racer with skills and a name like no other, Tucker Hibbert. Tucker got to the top with speed, style, and stamina and Tucker knows how to handle the pressure of defending his title on the Amsoil Championship Snowcross Series. You know, there's pressure there, but it's it's something that I'm used to. I've been racing for so long, and uh, it gets difficult, you know, to, to not think about it and to not worry about it and stuff, but, you know, I just got to focus on the main task, which is coming to the races and, and being prepared and so that we're in position to, to be the champion at the end of the year. Being one of the best means number 68 also wears a target on his back. I'm not real sure how the competition looks at me, I guess, or thinks about me, and I you know, try not to worry or care about it at all. I just focus on doing what I'm doing, but um, obviously if, if I'm winning a lot, people want to beat me. They don't want to see me win anymore. And... Tucker's used to winning big. I mean, big. He had to scratch and claw everything that he could do to get to the finish line and get that championship last year because Ross Martin and a few other drivers pushed and pushed and pushed. So what kind of mindsets Tucker come in with? Well, he's the defending champion, no doubt, he's got that. Tucker having an injury in the off season, having some surgery done, matter of fact, happened in, in Snowcross last year. Rehab says he's healthy. I think Tucker's got a few questions to ask himself. He knows that he can go out and perform, but yet there's a certain unknown there, there that he's got to take and really figure out. Once again, Tucker's crew is led by his dad, legendary racer Kirk Hibbert. This year, Team Hibbert's racing a new innovative race sled designed by Articat. The Procross chassis, which is Articat's new uh, consumer model, which, which is our race model too, and it's, uh, it's a big change from what we've had in the past, and, and it's definitely a step in the right direction. The thing has is, is, uh, got some really good handling characteristics and some really, uh, some really good things about it. The new sled's part of a big celebration, as Articat celebrates 50 years of racing and riding history. A lot of that tradition began here, on the line at Boot River Falls, Minnesota, the home of Articat. We like to race. We like to go fast. Uh, you can see it today, world's fastest snowmobiles with their turbos. We love to go fast. Uh, we're definitely going to keep developing. That's what we're going to do. We innovate and develop. That's our company, and we're going to go fast. 
So far this season, Tucker and Ross Martin have been dueling it out, and the result's been some great racing. Because Tucker's such a huge name in the sport, it's big news when he doesn't win. I've won a lot, so people kind of come to expect that or, or you know, think that there, that might happen. So if I don't win, then all of a sudden it's like this big deal. But I think in the last couple of years, the other, the other racers have stepped it up a lot and they've gotten more competitive. And I think, I think that racing has become better because of it. There's no doubt that Tucker's going to be a favorite again this year. People are going to look at him and say, Tucker Hibbert, man, he's going to come back and he's going to spank everybody. Uh, I think he's got a lot longer road to go this year than he did last year. Tucker knows the score and what it takes to stay out front of the pack. You know, we got a lot of racing left to do this year, so there's uh, there's going to be a lot of stuff going on that's going to affect the points and the, the championship chase. So it's going to be, you know, it's just me a matter of being consistent. And for me, you know, I got to focus on getting good starts and doing well in my qualifiers since the, the qualifying rounds uh, weigh so heavily on championship points. We got to be ready to go every time we're on the start line. I'm hungry. I'm ready to win. So we did uh, we did our homework this last couple of weeks, and I feel way more prepared, and I, f I feel good again. So I, I think it's time to get up on top of the podium. Tucker Hibbert, he's the man. And of course, Paul, I know that you have some history with his dad, Kirk, don't you? I battled with him for over a decade. He was so fast, so smooth. Watching Tucker reminds me of Kirk. There must be something in the water in Driggs, Idaho. What do you think now? You take Kirk at his prime, at his fastest, and Tucker at his fastest. Who do you think would win? Ooh. Too close to call for me. They're both so dominant, there's no one that's ever been like. I'm gonna say Kirk. I'm going with Tucker. Maybe we need to do some time traveling and find out, right? All right, all right, Jeff. Well, we're going to figure this out. As far as you at home, stay right where you are because Sledhead 24-7 will be right back. When Sledhead 24-7 returns, Mac and Fish take a skidoo with our motion to the UP of Michigan. Find out how skidoo made a smooth riding sled even better. What does it take to be the face of ISOC racing? Meet the first ever Miss ISOC as Ashley Rambo shows you why racing and family go together. And we'll have all the latest news from Motor Fist and their Stomper Boot. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. By Polaris, terrain domination. By Woody's, the most trusted name in traction and control and by Speedworks, home of straight up USA horsepower.